Hello and welcome back to Monstrosities, a vlog of Tokusatsu. I am your host, Matt Briquette, and Happy New Year! First video of the year, super exciting times. I know, right? Well, check this out. Last month, I got to sit down with my friend Norman England to talk rather extensively about a whole manner of things. Now, Norman is a writer. He's a set photographer. He's a film director. He has dabbled in a little bit of everything and has had decades worth of experience in the Japanese film industry, including a lot of kaiju ega, including titles like Gamera 3 and Godzilla Mothra King Ghidorah Giant Monsters All Out Attack. Now, it was a very lengthy interview. It was a very cool interview to do, and we got to touch upon a little bit of everything, including Norman's upcoming book, Behind the Kaiju Curtain, which is due out this May. We talked a lot about his film, The Idol, which recently secured a North American release, courtesy of SRS Cinema, which you guys should all go check out. And of course, the subject of today's video, Nezida 1964. Nezida chronicles a rather interesting part of Kaiju Ega history. It's a brand new docudrama that chronicles the story of the ill-fated 1960s monster rat attack movie that, strangely enough, led to the creation of everybody's favorite Tokyo tortoise, Gamera. Now last December, Norman attended a clean and safe premiere of Nezuda 1964, and he was telling me all about it, he was... You know what? How about we just let Norman tell you directly? Let's go ahead and jump across the pond to my favorite place in the world. Last night you went to go uh, do something kind of fun. Can you explain to the audience at home what you went to go do? Well, I went to the screening of Nezira, which is a new kaiju movie from director Hiroto Yokokawa. Over in Ikebukuro, close to Sunshine City, there's a theater there called the Humax Theater. They did two special screenings yesterday with the Kickstarter people. And I think some general public were allowed in. And I was a little nervous about going because of COVID and COVID has been taken off in Japan. But generally speaking, you know, everyone was, you know, masked and doing their best to not like rub up against each other. Before making Gamera, Daya had this plan to make a kaiju film using mice and rats. It's kind of hard to tell if it's rats or mice that they're talking about because the Japanese word are pretty much, it's the same thing. They just call them Nezumi. Daya was going to make this movie called Nezura, and they had all these issues. The, the mice were uncontrollable, they were getting out in the neighborhood, infested, and the whole movie didn't end very well. So the production got canceled, and then they still wanted to do something in the kaiju genre, and then that's when they came about with Gamera. So it's almost like you could say that if Nezura hadn't failed and had been made, probably Gamera would not exist today. So it's kind of an interesting story. So Yokokawa made a kind of docudrama. The whole film is done like in black and white. Some stuff is in color. And, and I'm not a big fan of when, you know, people try to scratch the film to make it look old. And it's done that way a little bit, but it's really not uh, intrusive. There's not a lot of kaiju stuff in it, but the scenes of them shooting the mice, they built miniatures for it, recreating, you know, what happened back in 63, 64. There is a, like a kind of mouse kaiju thing that was motion captured by Kira Ohashi. He was Gamera in Gamera 2 and Ghidra in uh, Kaneko's GMK. I mean, I really like the film. It's not a long film, it's like an hour. I was an actor in the film, very small part, I don't consider myself an actor, but I do do a lot of appearances in films. So it's really fun. I mean, I shot my scenes a couple months ago, so I was surprised he edited it together so fast. My scene in the movie was doing a, what they call like a script reading. So I'm reading my part, you know, out of the script. So it's just like me kind of reading a couple lines of dialogue and then we're all like standing around goofing around with the big Nezida prop rat that they built for the film. I was pretty impressed because it's like say in Japan it's like micro budget, a very low budget film. Even when we're shooting it was really just Yokokawa and the lead actor in the film. They were the entire crew. I'm like what? But it, it looked fine. It sounded great. I mean, that's the thing with filmmaking today. The equipment's gotten a lot better. So it's become easier to shoot stuff that's at least acceptable, if you know what I mean. Nezuda is kind of like 
like I said, the the micro budget level. But for a micro budget level, I was very impressed with the results. You know, and the acting was uniformly good. I mean, he got all professional actors. Yokijiro Hotaru is in the film. He's really wonderful. He's playing the the president of Daya Motion Pictures, and I've known Hotaru since Gamera Three. When was that? Ninety seven? Ninety ninety eight? Ninety eight. First actor you ever uh, interviewed, too, right? First, first actor I ever interviewed for Fangoria. But you know, I'm looking at it last night. It's like, oh, Hotaru's getting old. Oh my God, look at me. I'm getting old. You know, so. <laughs> Sano Shiro is also in the film. You know, he's been in Godzilla 2000, you know, whatever. I'm like, oh, he's getting old. We're all getting old. Shooting was a lot of fun. I was glad, you know, even though like it's just a small a little appearance by me, it was kind of nice to be involved. And, you know, I, his previous movie was that the Buddha Arrival movie, and I play a reporter in that. You know, and I have to say, I don't know if you've seen the great Buddha Arrival movie. I, I actually, like this one a lot more. I mean, I like the Buddha movie. I think it's a very interesting film, very unusual film. This one, the filmmaking technique was a lot better than this one. And the music's really fantastic. And they've got this Nezura song, which I actually translated the other day for the director, that is just completely insane about, it's like the mouse's point of view. <laughs> We must kill the humans. We must devour the humans. A very silly song, but really done in kind of an old 70s, you know, tokusatsu theme style. No, it's good. I mean, it's good to still, you know, be involved in these films and keep the dream going, you know, so. <laughs> oh, Kamiwa! He will save us! Is Gamera making an appearance at the end of the movie? In a very weird way. The director said last night, please write about this stuff on social media, but don't give away spoilers. I don't know what that means because it's kind of like everyone knows the backstory to it. Okay, I can say this, like Gamera's not in it, but Gamera's represented. Got uh, some goodies. So the director gave me this. He gave me this bag, see, with little Nezera mice on it. On the back there, it see it says Nezera 1964, right? And it came with the, the booklet here, so you can see all the different actors, like Hotaru is in it. Makfumiake, who I only met last night. I wanted to do my scenes with her. She was the star of the last Showa Gamera movie, Super Monster Gamera, you know, that insane movie. She's so fantastic and she looks great. I mean, it's like she hasn't aged at all in like 40 years. I was there with my uh, my girlfriend. She was very excited to, to meet her. Oh, and then for some reason inside the bag that we also had popcorn, my Nezura popcorn, which says Arigato gozaimasu on it. So, no, it was kind of a lot of fun. Everyone at the show last night seemed very pleased with the film. Don't expect Hollywood legendary Godzilla CG special effects, but the shots that are in there are really, really well done. It's definitely worth seeing, you know? Now check this out. Norman is actually doing the subtitle work on Nezuda 1964 as well, which, fingers crossed, might indicate that we may be getting an international release of this movie sooner rather than later. I'd really like to thank Norman for taking the time, a lot of time, out of his schedule to talk to me about this, among all the other subjects I talked about at the beginning of this video, and would also like to thank all of you guys for sticking around watching this. Uh, seriously, please hit a like, subscribe to this channel if you found this video uh, cool, helpful, whatever. Any little bit of support really does help. I know that's kind of a cliche on this platform, but in all seriousness, it really does help. So I will see you next time in the next video, and I promise that will be sooner rather than later. So until then, for Godzilla's sakes, please keep watching Tokusatsu for the good of mankind and yourselves, and please, oh please, collect responsibly. We will catch you later. Later, guys.